Today's the day. Honor is officially launching the Honor 90 Lite 5G here in the Philippines. And with that, let me share with you some of the things that I like and didn't like about this budget mobile photography device. The Honor 90 Lite 5G features a 6.7 inch Full HD Plus display with up to 90Hz refresh rate and boasts a 93.6% screen to body ratio. It also features a triple camera system with a decent 100 megapixel main camera, 5 megapixel ultra wide and depth sensor, and 2 megapixel macro LEDs. It is powered by a MediaTek Dimensity 6020 5G processor with a Mali G57 MC2 GPU with 8GB of RAM, 256GB of internal storage, and a substantial 4500 mAh of battery. With the specifications out of the way, let's get into it. As always, honest disclaimer, while Honor did send this for me to review, this video is not paid and all my thoughts here are based on my honest experience. With that out of the way, the first thing that I like about the Honor 90 Lite 5G is of course the design and construction, especially with the Sign Lake variant. With a 7.48mm thin body, smooth and rounded corners, and a weight of only around 179 grams, it is definitely comfortable to hold. We'll discuss the display in detail in a minute, but design-wise, with a screen-to-body ratio of around 93.6%, the bezels are exceptionally thin except for the chin. I also appreciate the centered selfie camera, making everything in front symmetrical. At the back, what strikes me the most is the design of the camera bump, something that looks quite unique with a sort of dual ring shape inspired by fine jewelry. It makes up for a flashy and elegant looking camera bump, not to mention the subtle contrast between the glossy and textured finish that also softly reflects the light depending on the angle. Another thing that I like about the Honor 90 Lite 5G is the display. As I pointed out earlier, the bezels are very slim with a thinness of just around 1.1mm and because of that, we have a substantially large 6.7 inch Full HD Plus LCD display with up to 90Hz refresh rate. Aside from that, Honor also made sure to prioritize eye comfort with a slew of eye protection features. First is its low blue light technology, which is good enough to earn the TUV Rhineland Low Blue Light Certification. You can take advantage of this by enabling the eye comfort option. It also has an ebook mode wherein it will automatically increase contrast and turn everything into grayscale for a paper-like reading experience. Aside from that, you can also opt to use the global dark mode option for a more comfortable viewing experience. These are not groundbreaking features as it's also available on most smartphones but are definitely appreciated features to have. However, Honor takes it to another level by adding dynamic dimming and circadian night display features. This, in theory, should alleviate eye fatigue and help users ease off towards the sunset for long and better sleep quality. As for the image quality of the display itself, as you can tell, the colors are vibrant with substantial contrast, sharpness, and details. Viewing angles are okay, but I can notice some slight loss of brightness, especially on extreme unrealistic angles like this. But at dead center though, it looks really good. I know some of you are going to complain about this not being an AMOLED display, but considering the price and the outstanding camera quality, I think it's a decent trade-off. Plus, it's still a pretty good looking display, just doesn't have that deeper blacks and better viewing angles of an AMOLED display. Now, the next thing that I like about the Honor 90 Lite 5G is the substantial storage and memory. Granted, it only has 8GB of RAM, but Honor actually allocated 5GB out of the 256GB internal storage to the RAM. So in theory, we have an additional 5GB of buffer for opening multiple apps at the same time and preventing them from crashing. I just wish we have some sort of control over the amount though, like some other brands does. But yeah, definitely a good way to cut some cost while not entirely crippling the performance. 256GB is enough in my opinion, unless you're going to shoot a lot of videos or install a lot of games. But there's no denying the fact that a micro SD card slot could have been present here for expandable storage. Another thing that I like about the Honor 90 Lite 5G is the outstanding battery life that can last up to 2 days depending on the usage. As per testing in PCMark Work 3.0 battery life benchmark with 50% brightness, 100% volume with earphones plugged in, and dynamic refresh rate turned on but with performance mode turned off, it lasted a decent 12 hours and 21 minutes which is good enough to last you the entire work hours and more. I was also able to charge it from 10% to 100% using the 225 watt charger for about an hour and a half. While it's not the fastest charging speed ever, it's not entirely bad either. But probably the most important feature of the Honor 90 Lite 5G that I really like is the camera quality. First, I appreciate that we still have an ultra-wide angle lens here, albeit just 5 megapixel. 
We also have a 2 megapixel macro lens, which to be honest, I rarely use, and a 16 megapixel selfie camera. But the highlight of the show here is undoubtedly the 100 megapixel main camera. For starters, the ultra wide angle lens is okay to say the least. It produces images with a familiar warmer tone, and with a mere 5 megapixel count, the resolution is noticeably lower and the overall image quality is softer. But I still appreciate that we have an ultra wide angle lens here if we need it. The 2x zoom lens shares the exact resolution and wider aperture of the main 100 megapixel camera since it's essentially just a digital zoom. However, like the ultra wide angle lens, the images look unnatural due to over processing to compensate. As you can tell, the images from the 2x zoom are too sharp, at least for my personal preference. So with that, my recommendation is to just stick with the main 100 megapixel camera, crop it if you need to, and do your own post processing if necessary. As for a wider shot, just move back if possible. If not, then at least you still have an ultra wide angle lens to fall back to. The main 100 megapixel camera, on the other hand, produces outstanding quality images with good dynamic range, balancing the shadows and highlights, with very natural colors, contrast, and most importantly, sharpness. Overall, to sum it up, the ultra wide angle lens produces a warmer image with noticeably lower resolution. The 2x zoom produces an overly sharp and digitally zoomed image, while the main 100 megapixel camera produces a perfectly balanced, high quality image. So, if I were you, forget about the two other cameras. They are just there to fill the stat sheet. Just stick with the main 100 megapixel camera. On the other side, the 16 megapixel selfie camera is fairly okay. In good lighting condition, it can produce some fairly pleasing selfies, not overly processed and not too smooth either. It's nothing exceptional, but I like how it looks. Background separation is good enough, not the most natural, especially how the bokeh strength varies throughout the depth of the image, but it's not entirely bad either with fairly good edge detection. Overall, I had a great time taking photos with the family at the Liger Animal Sanctuary in Pililia Rizal, and I suggest you bring your kids there as well if you have the time. I was surprised how much animals they have there, including some rare species. Alright, so those are the 5 things that stand out to me about the Honor 90 Lite 5G. As for the things that I didn't like, I actually alluded to them earlier. One is that we don't have an expandable storage. Second is that we only have a single speaker here and we don't have a 3.5mm headphone jack. Aside from that, I don't have any other major complaints about the Honor 90 Lite 5G. Now let's take a look around it before I share with you my experience with its other important features like user interface, performance, and gaming capabilities. Here in front, we have the 6.7 inch display with thin bezels and a pre-applied screen protector. We've already tackled that in detail earlier. Flipping it on the left side, we have the SIM card tray that supports dual nano SIM cards. And on the other side, we have the volume rocker and the power button that also doubles as a side fingerprint sensor which works fairly fast, responsive, and accurate. Looking up top, we have the secondary microphone and a sort of sensor, not sure what though. At the bottom, we have the primary microphone, the USB Type-C port, and the single speaker. Speaking of the speakers, I wish it was stereo using the earpiece, but it's not. It sounds okay, can get substantially loud thanks to the extra volume mode, but can sound a bit teeny. We're also limited here in terms of audio since it also doesn't have a headphone jack. Here's a quick sound test for you guys. I'm too tired to function, but too lost to sleep. Hey, I think I need to be on something medication. I think I need to figure out the segregation. I think I need it just a better education. Work that's so complicated, intoxicated, every night faded. Just so I can sleep, thinking that it's hated. I feel hated, I feel hatred. I'm lost deep in my mind. And I... Moving along, at the back, we have the triple camera system in a fine jewelry like design and the fingerprint resistant textured but relatively smooth finish. As for the user interface, the Honor 90 Lite 5G features the Magic OS 7.1 based on Android 13. It is a fairly lightweight user interface but not without some pre-installed applications like Netflix, Facebook, TikTok, and Booking.com which you can easily uninstall if you want. By default, we don't have an application drawer here but you can easily change that in the settings. I also appreciate that the Honor 90 Lite 5G still has a built-in FM radio which may come in handy at times and a bunch of other useful tools here. Under the settings, we also have a bunch of customization features like lock screen signature, themes, wallpapers, and icons. And as I pointed out earlier, we also have a number of features for the display including some eye comfort features and the option to adjust the screen's refresh rate. Under the battery setting, you can push the capabilities of this phone by turning on performance mode which is what I used on my gaming testing later. You can also easily toggle some of these features via the quick access drop down shortcuts. 
Now, in terms of performance, the Honor 90 Lite 5G is powered by a MediaTek Dimensity 6025G processor with a Mali G57 MC2 GPU with 8GB of RAM and 256GB of storage. With an Antutu score of around 400,000, the performance is substantial enough for day-to-day -day tasks, things like browsing the user interface, social media applications, media consumption, light photo editing, and mobile photography. I didn't encounter any major hiccups in that department. It can even handle some of the most popular games, but you'll have to settle for low settings, and some games are not yet optimized for this device. Now, while it's not a gaming phone, I still appreciate that we have a game assistant here that you can toggle by swiping on the left side. It's super basic though, with just a few features available. We have some statistics here, and you can also quickly swap between balance and game mode. I wish that we could place the performance stats on the screen to have it visible at all times. As I alluded to earlier, some games are not yet fully optimized for this device. In Call of Duty Mobile, for example, medium graphics quality and high frame rate settings are the only available option. And even though the Honor 90 Lite 5G supports up to 90Hz, we're capped at 60fps here. Well, at least the gaming experience itself is really smooth. I didn't encounter any significant frame drops in a few matches that I played in Call of Duty Mobile. I also appreciate the thin bezels here, making the gaming experience even better. In Mobile Legends, all the essential settings are available, including super high frame rate and ultra graphics settings. And to no surprise, the Honor 90 Lite 5G can easily handle Mobile Legends even during clashes in Ultimate. You know what? I'm starting to like this game, the more I test smartphones with it. In Real Racing 3, even though this game supports up to 120fps, we're also capped at 60fps here. The gaming experience here is fairly smooth, I also didn't encounter any major frame drops, and the graphics look absolutely stunning. In my honest opinion, this is better compared to the Asphalt 9 Legends in every way possible, especially in terms of graphics and realism. In Diablo Immortal, the game assistant quickly shows 90fps, then quickly dropped down to 60fps. It doesn't matter though, as this game is not yet optimized for this device, only supporting a mere 30fps and in medium resolution. I set the graphics quality to low to get a pretty playable experience, and for the most part, it is indeed playable, with some minor hiccups here and there. But yeah, still playable nonetheless. We're also capped at 60fps in Genshin Impact, which to be honest, is perfectly okay, since this phone can't even get past that. And you'll probably end up setting this to lowest graphics quality and at 30fps to have a playable experience. Now, here are all the benchmarks that I ran on the Honor 90 Lite 5G. Overall, performance-wise, I'm kind of satisfied with it to be honest, since I wasn't expecting it to perform more than it should given the specifications it has inside. It's completely fine for your average day-to-day -day tasks with mild gaming on the side. Now before I share with you my final thoughts in terms of the unboxing experience, we have a simple white box here, and inside it we have the Honor 90 Lite 5G itself, an accessory box, the charging cable, and the 225 watts power brick. Inside the accessory box, we have a SIM ejector pin, a quick start guide, and a free jelly case. Alright, so to conclude, if you're looking for a budget mid-range smartphone with a pretty good camera, outstanding battery life, a decent amount of storage, pretty good display with slim bezels in a sleek and stylish design, the Honor 90 Lite 5G is a good option, especially considering its 12,999 Philippine pesos price tag. I think the price on this one is balanced, considering everything it has to offer, especially the outstanding 100 megapixel main camera. Performance-wise, it's good enough for most day-to-day -day tasks with light gaming on the side. And there you have it guys, thank you for watching. Huge thanks to Honor Philippines for sending this in. Again, this video is not paid. Honor will not review this video prior to release and they will see this at the same time as you'll do. I'll put some links below if you're interested. Now, I previously reviewed a pretty similar smartphone and if you're interested to check that out as well, click this. Thank you for watching, subscribe if you appreciate this video and see you next time. Have a great day guys, you're awesome.